one of the most persistent conventions of architectural photography is perspective correction. That's where the verticals of the architecture are lined up with the verticals of the uh, frame of your photograph. Here is um, a building. This is the uh, Broad Center at UCLA. Um, and with its finished perspective controlled um, condition, as you can see, the right edge of the building and the, uh, this column on the left are both parallel with the edges of the frame. Um, this used to be and is still um, achieved by using view cameras um, where it's possible to raise and lower the lens in relation to the film um, without uh, tilting the camera either forward or backward. Um, and it can also be done with uh, perspective cor correcting lenses. Um, however, we can also achieve this with Photoshop. This is the image as it began. And as you can see, the column on the left is leaning pretty severely in towards the right. And the uh, right edge of the building is also leaning in to the, the left um, with the end product that the building looks like it's leaning backward. And we don't want that. Um, now. Something to note, whenever you know you're going to be um, perspective correcting um, an image, it's important that you shoot at the highest resolution possible. It's a good idea to do that anyway, but especially when we do this, because what we're going to do is actually stretch pixels, and we don't want any evidence of that to show. So I'm going to first select the Crop tool, and I'm going to press Front Image, and what that will do is you can see the dimensions at the moment don't match the dimensions of the image, but I want them to match. So I hit front image and it's now a 10 by 10 at 300. I'm going to pull the bounding box away from the image and then drag the crop tool across the entire image, selecting the entire image. And you can see that the toolbar has changed and this perspective button has shown up. Now that uh, it's really important to note that that will only show up after you have dragged and made your selection with the crop tool. I'm going to click on the perspective button um, because that's what will be responsible for making the magic happen. And I'm going to drag the upper left corner of the image in so that it lines up with that column. And because the ed right edge of the building is much further away from the edge of the frame, I'm going to use the grid tool. I know that the building was centered when I photographed it. And um, I'm going to pull in the upper right-hand corner um, the same amount as the upper left, about approximately 3 quarters of an inch. I'm a little bit too far with that one. Make an adjustment. and then I'm going to crop it. And there you can see that the perspective has been corrected. The column is now parallel with the edge of the frame on the left, and the right edge of the building is parallel to the right edge of the frame as well. Now, one of the things that happened is that in doing so, the building became truncated, and we want to correct for that. So what I'm going to do is stretch the image and I'm going to make sure that my constrained proportions is not clicked. We don't want that on because we only want to affect the height. And we're going to add 7 tenths of an inch. Now, this was something that um, trial and error told me um, seemed to work the best. Um, but it's a matter of choice. Click OK. And you can see that the building has now stretched itself again. But I want to go back to the same dimensions of the image. So I'm going to crop out some ground and a bit of sky. So I'm recropping it. And there you have your perspective corrected architecture in a photograph.